What is the story guys? Welcome back to The Quigley Quote. Today I am bringing you a book summary slash review of one of my favorite books of all time. That is Unlimited Power by Tony Robbins. Phenomenal book. Absolutely incredible. Probably the best personal development slash self-help book I've ever read. And he starts off the book by talking about, uh, like when he's doing his seminars, he talks about the, the fire walks that he, do, that he does for people where they literally walk barefoot across a bed of coals. Now, this is insane, but it's a, a metaphor, I suppose, for how your belief system has a massive impact on your life. And a lot of people live with this negative belief system. They live in fear and it stops them. That belief system stops them from doing a ton of different things. And, you know, he, he touches on the concept that most people, they underestimate what they can achieve in a decade and they overestimate what they can achieve in a year. He goes on to talking about how, you know, knowledge isn't enough so many people they are fantastic learners they educate themselves but what personal power is is action it's actually doing it's what you do with that knowledge that matters and that's the difference between successful people and other people you know success it leaves clues and, and people who succeed they aren't lucky they got there for a reason and they got there because they're doing things differently than the average person you know ideas are worthless without actually doing and you know a lot of people that they have these you know limited belief systems and they, they live in fear and tony talks about the likes of colonel sanders um the founder of kfc who was i think in his 60s and he's talking about how he actually went through you know door to door trying to sell his recipe going around to different businesses um, and he got through 1,000 rejections. I think it was his 1,009th attempt where it actually uh, hit and, and took off. And so it's that it's that using failure as a lesson. It's the perseverance and being focused, having that purpose that is just going to overcome your fears. And it just comes down to that purpose. You know, you need to decide who you want to be. You look at these successful people. You know, they're not always smarter. What you need to do to to get there is just do action you know and you can mirror and model these people you can replicate their actions and get to where they are so you need to find that sense of purpose and that sense of purpose will overcome or outweigh your sense of fear um so you need to ask it like why doesn't everyone succeed you know there's a, a certain difference in what people are doing a lot of the time it's because of an unhealthy lifestyle um, so people can't build good habits and they're you know maybe they're eating unhealthily they're not exercising right they're not breathing right their physiology isn't correct and they're not in the right frame or mode to actually achieve what they're trying to do and then you know it comes down to actually clearly quantifying or defining their goals you know if you don't write it down on a piece of paper you're going to forget about it and the likelihood of you actually achieving that goal it diminishes a lot unless you actually speak it and you know say it to yourself and fully believe it as well you know i mean all personal development starts with communication and it's not just how you communicate with others, it's how you actually speak to yourself. And he talks about the concept of NLP, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. And it's, it's that internal belief system. When you understand yourself and you understand what motivates you, then you're way more likely to actually achieve your goals. And then you can go about, you know, learning how to communicate with others. The best, you know, the most successful people are elite communicators and they learn how to build rapport with people. What is rapport? It's, it's effectively just getting along with people. It's people, you know, seeing you as a friend, you know, and smiling when they see you and feeling like they can relate to you. That's what rapport is. So a lot of salespeople try to build rapport with you straight away on a call. How do you build rapport? Well, you need to find a, a common ground, but you need to be able to mirror things like their physiology, their tonality, how they carry themselves. And you, you'll find that common connection there. That's what uh, he talks about with the likes of, of NLP. Um, what you say, you become. And it's you need to ask yourself, are things happening to me or am I making things happen? 
you know a lot of people just kind of trundle through life and they might have these wild dreams of success and achievements but unless you speak it into existence and actually put action behind your knowledge you're not going to get there so you need to take full responsibility for what happens to you and start focusing on, on making things happen you know he talks about how it's actually quite easy to become successful you simply need to find someone who's done it and you need to just replicate exactly what they've done and so turn it into a process and it's not just like superficially oh well you know he read this book once i read this book i'll be fine you need to go way more granular than that take someone successful try and find someone close to home who you can actually speak with and you need to replicate their belief system you know you need to start limiting yourself with your belief it was jim Rohn who said you're the average of the five people you spent the most time with so you need to if you find someone successful you need to copy their way of communicating with others and with themselves copy their belief systems but also you need to drill right down to how they breathe, uh, what their physiology is like, what their body language is like, and how they, they speak to themselves, and how they're able to convince themselves that they're going to achieve something. You know, you can copy what they do, but you need to copy how they speak to themselves before, and so that you actually believe you're gonna get there in the first place, because you become what you think. And, you know, they say that, you know, it stops you, you know, you're limiting yourself with your beliefs. You're actually the one stopping yourself when it comes down to it, you know. So that's the only thing that uh, you need to focus on. Focus on your beliefs, understand how to speak to yourself in the right frame and find someone who has done it and you'll be able to get there, you know. Um, so that's the, the big takeaway from the book. Learn how to speak with yourself and you'll be able to get there. You know, that's what personal power is. Speaking to yourself and then put an action behind that. Um, so guys, fantastic book. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, Tony Robbins is, is phenomenal. You can even, like, you can watch some of his documentaries and stuff on Netflix. But any of his books, I'd highly recommend. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. Let us know what you think. Uh, comment down below. Give me a shout. Uh, and yeah, I will see you in the next one. Do be sure to subscribe and um, we're aiming for 100 subs this year so really really appreciate everyone watching and uh, yeah like i say i'll see you in the next one